So, nth term of a linear sequence. So, a linear sequence is simply something that goes up in equal steps. So, if I add 4 to 5, I get 9. Add 4 to 9, I get 13, 17, 21, and so on. Now, um, an nth term sequence will generally look something like this. Something times n, and then add something onto that. Or it could be subtract. So the first thing we'll do is work out the value that goes in front of the n. And that's very easy. All we have to do is look at the differences. And the differences are 4, so we know the first number is 4. So we now are left with just having to find the b. I know my um, b looks a bit like a g, but that was the way I was taught to write it, and I've never been able to change it since then. Now, if we look at what is our first term, then if we replace 1, sorry, n, with 1, we've got 4 lots of 1 plus the b equals 5, because the first term is 5. So 4 ones are 4, so all I'm going to have to do to make 5 is add on 1. So the b is 1. So the nth term of this linear sequence is 4n plus 1. Now you can check, of course, because you can go to the second term, where n is 2. You can put 4 times 2 plus 1, which is 8 plus 1, which is 9. And you can see that that agrees. So you now know that 4n plus 1 is correct. So now let's look at another um, sequence. Let's look at um, 3, uh, 11, 19, 27, 35. So if I look at the sequence, the first difference is 8, the next difference is 8, and so on. So I know then, I'm looking at 8n uh, plus b. Now my first term is um, 3, so 8 times 1 plus the number I'm trying to find out equals 3. So 8 plus b equals 3. So let's move the 8 to the other side. So b will equal 3 minus 8. And this will give us a negative answer because the negative number is larger than the positive. So 3 take 8, the difference is 5, and it must be written as negative 5. So the nth term here then is 8n minus 5. Once again, let's check on the second term. So 8 times 2 minus 5 is 16 minus 5, which equals 11. So correct. So 8n minus 1, 8n minus 5, should I say, is the nth term of this linear sequence. Now, it's very unlikely, but just suppose our sequence was going down. 22, 19, 16, 13, 10. Well, this time the difference is minus 3. So our sequence will be minus 3n plus b. If I take my first term as 22, then minus 3 times 1 plus b equals 22. So my minus 3 plus b equals 22, so b equals 22 plus 3, so b equals 25. So the nth term here then is minus 3n plus 25. If we take the second term, minus 3 times 2 plus 25 will be minus 6 plus 25, which is the same as 25, take 6, which is 19. So we now know we've got the correct nth term, which is minus 3n plus 25. And that ends this short lesson on finding the nth term.